today I am going to be doing a first impression on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Mine is in the color 120. It's a glass bottle. It feels super nice and like really high end. Um, I'm currently on the Sephora website or the Sephora um, app and there are a total of 40 shades and it ranges from uh, really light shades to really deep shades which is an amazing range. I'm gonna do, I actually haven't seen any like reviews or um, first impressions based on this foundation. Like I know that everybody did already but I haven't watched any because I really wanted to be um, very like unbiased and I just wanted to give my true opinion as to um, what I thought of the foundation. So it has a pump and I'm gonna start with, um, I'm gonna just put it in the back of my hand. Oh, it's like really liquidy. Not really, but you can see it's kind of runny. Um, and I'm hoping that this, I feel like it's gonna be super light. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one pump. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Oh no, this is like really light. Like, really light. That girl at Sephora did not match the correct shade to me. That's like super... First impression, it's... Right now it's at a medium coverage, I want to say. Um, I really like the feel. It's like super matte. Like, it's already dry. So I don't think I'm going to have to even set this, which... I don't think I have ever done. Like, I've never not set my foundation. So I'm going to play a little bit on where I think I need more coverage. So I was gonna grab the shade 140, but the girl at Sephora told me that that actually oxidized like really dark. Um, and that's why I didn't pick it up, but, or at least the shade 130. I'm gonna have to go back and exchange it because this is way too light. Like way, way too light. First impression, um, it's already dried and it feels kind of like a, powder like I actually put powder and not like foundation like liquid foundation um I can definitely I mean the shade is not the correct shade for me but um I am oily like I have oily skin and I do have a couple of like dry patches and I can definitely see that it's holding on to a dry patch around here like like around my my mouth um and it definitely looks my skin looks very dry um I'll definitely update you to that throughout the day but as a first impression like I I don't know I thought I was gonna love this foundation because I am oily skin and right now it feels like I just I look at my skin and I see that it's like it looks really dry okay so I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna see how everything blends on top of this foundation and I'll be right back actually see uh, like the texture of my face um, everything blended out perfect on top of the foundation um, I actually need to set uh, my the rest of my face but I didn't actually have to set because the foundation dried to like a powder finish which I always set my foundation and I was so like shocked that I didn't have to set it so like I said, everything blend out perfectly. I did a little bit of cream contouring and my concealer and everything. Everything blended perfect. Like I said, this blended out perfect. Um, it hasn't sunk into any of like my lines. My face does look a little bit dry, so I'm gonna try and test it with uh, like a really heavy moisturizer before um, actually putting the foundation. But I mean, overall, I really, really like the finish. Okay, so I just wanted to come in here real quick um, because I'm on my way to work. And I just wanted to show you guys like my skin in natural lighting. Um, so far, it looks pretty good. It's been 
about an hour or so that I finished doing my makeup, but I just wanted to check in. Um, so far, so good. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, because the color looks much better out here like natural lighting than it was like inside with my lighting So I'm still debating if I am going to go and change the like shade of the foundation, but I'll keep you guys updated Hey guys, so I just came in to do my last um, little update I did update a couple hours after I had put on the foundation I was on my way to work and I just got home from work and I just wanted to check in excuse my appearance It's just it's been a long day uh, but I just wanted to check in and see how the foundation is wearing. I'm looking for my mirror, which I can't find. Um, yeah, so pretty much it looks really nice. Um, I had to put on some gloss because I wasn't looking cute today. Um, so overall, my foundation stayed. Um, it doesn't look cakey. I really, really like. Um, it did like throughout the day. I did notice that it oxidized a tiny bit and it did match me a little bit better so I think I'm gonna go back and I just I'm just gonna exchange it for 130 instead of 120 which I is the one that I have um, but overall it looks amazing um, my bronzer you can still kind of see it my blush is still there my highlighter is nowhere to be seen um, it did disappear from my nose but that tends to happen with any foundation I do have allergies and today it was not a good day with my allergies um, and then I had a lot of fallout today <laughs> when I was filming this makeup tutorial and I tried to like cover it and then obviously my oils, my oils started like coming through the, through, throughout the day. And so, um, you can kind of like see like my, <laughs> my green like fallout from here that I tried to like cover up. Um, but overall it looks amazing. Um, it doesn't feel oily like at all. Like that never happens with any foundation, not at least the, here. Um, it doesn't, I don't look oily. It's starting, like my oils are starting to peek through like right here above my eyebrows. Um, but overall it looks pretty amazing. Like, um, it did fade out a little bit down here that I can tell. Like I can start seeing my like acne scarring around here. But overall like here, like I feel like it looks amazing. Um, if I were to like powder a little bit, I think it would look good as new. Um, I believe it's a really, really nice foundation. The price, I think it's a really nice price point. It's not like a $45 or $50 foundation. It's $30. Um, and I feel like it's really, really good for oily skin. Um, I don't know if it's because of the weather, but um, I, I've been a little bit more like on the dry side. I have a couple of dry patches. And I do remember that at the beginning, I did mention that I um, it did like hang on to some of my dry patches. Um, but I mean overall I feel like it's a good foundation. It's a good high-end foundation. I really really like the results um, Like I said, I am gonna be um, trying 130 instead of 120 um, Even though I have to like bring it down to my neck. I feel like it was a little bit more on the pale side of the 120 for me So yeah, I think that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video And if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there As always the products that I use in this video and all of my social media are going to be linked down in the description box and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye